Hello everyone. If you've been trying to install Windows 7 on your EFI-based PC and encountered this Windows Boot Manager error or the missing DVD drive device driver error like this one here, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to fix these problems and get your Windows 7 installed on your PC. The fixes for these problems should be done prior to the installation, and one of them is through the creation of a proper bootable USB flash drive for EFI-based PC. So first thing first, to avoid the Windows Boot Manager error, you'll need to enable the Compatibility Support Module or CSM on your EFI settings. If your EFI boot firmware does not have a CSM option, I'm sorry to inform you that you may not be able to install Windows 7 on your EFI-based PC. Although some people claim they managed to do it with a workaround, it may not always work for everyone, so I will exclude it from this tutorial. Then, to fix the missing DVD drive device driver error, you'll need to create a proper Win 7 bootable USB flash drive for EFI-based PC and replace the old EHCI driver with the new XHCI driver. To create a Win 7 bootable USB flash drive for EFI-based PC, you need four things. First, you need a USB flash drive with a capacity of 4 GB or larger, depending on whether your Win 7 ISO is a 32 or 64-bit version. Secondly, you need a Windows 7 disk image or ISO file, preferably the 64-bit version. Then you need is a small program called Rufus, which is an open-source, standalone tool to create a bootable USB flash drive. I have put the link to the official Rufus website on this video's description. And lastly, you will need the Gigabytes Windows Image Tool, which you can download from my Google Drive through the link on this video's description. Alright, let's get started. First, download Rufus from its official website, and the Gigabytes Windows Image Tool from the link on this video's description. Once you have the two utility programs ready, Plug in your USB flash drive to your PC and wait until it's detected by the operating system. After that, double-click the Rufus file to run the program. This program is a standalone program, so you don't need to install it. If the user account control dialog appears on your screen, simply click yes. On the Rufus window, we'll set the drive properties and format options of the bootable USB flash drive. First, under device, select the USB flash drive you want to use as a Win 7 bootable drive. Make sure that your USB flash drive does not contain any files that you still need, because all the files in it will be wiped out. Then under boot selection, select disk or ISO image. After that, click select, browse your Windows 7 ISO file, select the file, and then click open on the open file dialog. Under image option, select standard Windows installation. Under partition scheme, select GPT, the modern partition scheme for EFI based PC. And then under volume label, enter a descriptive label for your bootable USB flash drive. Leave the file system setting NTFS and select the default cluster size. Under advanced format options, make sure you tick the quick format and create extended label and icon files options. Alright, we are good to go, now click start to create the Windows 7 bootable USB flash drive. This process may take about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your PC and your USB flash drive. Once it's done, you can close Rufus. The next important step will be updating the EHCI driver on the bootable flash drive using the Gigabytes Windows Image Tool. To do that, look for the Gigabytes Windows Image Tool zip file that you have downloaded just now and extract its content. Open the extracted folder and then double-click the Windows Image Tool.exe file to run the utility program. On the Gigabyte Windows Image Tool window, select your Win 7 bootable USB flash drive as the destination path. And then tick the Add NVMe Drivers to an offline Windows 7 image option, which will also automatically tick the Add Packages option below it. Click Start and Windows Image Tool will begin adding the XHCI driver to your Win 7 USB installer. The process may take about 15 to 30 minutes, so please be patient. Once it's finished, you can close the application. Your Windows 7 bootable USB flash drive for EFI-based PC is now ready to use. To verify that my Win 7 bootable USB flash drive is working properly, I'm going to test it on my PC. Alright, so that's how to create a Windows 7 bootable USB flash drive for EFI-based PC. I hope you find this tutorial useful, 
and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.